All right. All right. Well, welcome back to Fun Facts for the Saints. I hope you're all doing well. Today we receive a very special guest. And fun fact, um, considering it's Fun Facts for the Saints, that she is the sister of Saint Benedict. Let us welcome Saint Scholastica. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Nick. Thanks for having me. Of course. So why don't you start to tell us a little about yourself? Sure. So I was born in 480 AD in Nursia, Italy, and I am, as you said, the sister of St. Benedict. I was a virgin consecrated to God when I was very young. When my brother Benedict established his monastery, I founded a convent nearby. My brother Benedict and I were close, but we rarely were able to see each other. Once a year, Benedict and I would visit each other in person. Um, and those were some of my favorite days. We would spend the day praying together and discussing sacred texts. After some time, I felt that I was going to die. And the next time I visited with Benedict would be the last time I saw him on earth. So at the end of the day, after dinner, Benedict decided it was time for him to leave but I asked him if he would stay since I knew I wouldn't see him again. I begged and pleaded with him to stay longer so we could keep talking and praying together, but he refused me. He said that he needed to return to his room at the monastery. You know, we have very strict rules and I knew I was asking him to break one, but he refused and said he had to follow the rules and go home. Now, I know it was admirable for Benedict to want to return home to deny himself the pleasure of my company for the sake of obedience to the rule. However, that night, I really wanted him to stay with me and join me in loving and praising God just one last time. Mm. Now, Nick, I know you have a wonderful big family and lots of siblings. Yeah. So I'll know, I know you'll understand this. I'm sure you've had a disagreement with one of your siblings before. Mm -hmm. And... Maybe you asked your mom or dad to help solve the disagreement. Well, I couldn't ask our parents, so I decided to ask God to help me. I prayed, and after a moment, a big storm with lots of thunder and lightning um, came out of nowhere outside the house where we were staying. God had answered my prayers. Benedict said, what have you done? I told him, I asked you, and you would not listen. I asked you to stay, and you wouldn't. So I asked God and he listened to me. I know God loves charity and he answered my prayer, which I asked out of love, love for my brother and love of God. Because of the storm, Benedict wasn't able to return to his monastery and he spent the night with me talking and praying. Our last meeting was a reminder of the importance of relationships with God and with each other and that the basis of those relationships is love. God is love and our relationships are a reflection of him. It was from this experience that uh, we were reminded to have great love for our brothers and sisters in Christ and that we honor God with our love for others. This is also the reason that people often pray to me when there is bad weather. A few days later in 543 AD, I passed away. Benedict saw my soul leaving the earth and ascending to heaven from his room at the monastery. He was such a good brother to me. He even placed my body in the grave he had prepared for himself and arranged for his own body to be placed there too after he passed away. Hmm. Well, uh, I have um, a couple of questions here. Um, sure. So why couldn't you go in the monastery to see your brother of St. Benedict? That's a good question. And you are correct. I couldn't go visit him there and he couldn't come visit me um, where I lived. Um, we couldn't visit each other at monasteries because the rules at both of our monasteries prohibited either us from entering the others. Um, the rules forbade people of different sexes from entering. So men couldn't come to my monastery and women couldn't enter his. So that's why we met at a separate place outside the monasteries. Hmm. Um, why is one of your symbols a dove? Oh, you noticed. 
um, one of my symbols is a dove because when my brother Benedict saw my soul leaving my room when, after I'd passed away, it was in the shape of a shining white dove. Hmm. Thank you. Um, is there anything else you want to share with us? Actually, I would like to share one other thing with you. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to share a relic with everyone um, of Saint Scholastica. Hmm. Cool. Um, is, uh, okay, so um, I have a, the Saints book here, and there, uh, I have a prayer in here. So let's close with that. And then follow the Son of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, today we celebrate the, the memory of Saint Scholastica, and that following her example, we may serve you with perfect love and rejoice in experiencing your goodness. Amen. 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for joining us on Film Facts about the Saints. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Saint Scholastica.